Hello, my dear ones. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards. I hope if you enjoy what I share that you will hit that like button, which really helps me out, and also become a subscriber. Um, I do earn some revenue from this channel, which helps me to provide content to you. And um, I am very, very much appreciative when you support my channel by hitting that like button and subscribing. So thank you so much for, for all of the people that subscribe to my channel and leave me such wonderful comments. So it is Monday night um, and I am coming on to share a few things with you. Um, it's kind of a this and that video. I'm going to start by showing you the finished version of this card that I made using uh, this beautiful image from Red Lead Paperworks. Uh, my sweet friend, Anna White. Hi, Anna. Anna just did a video uh, sharing a beautiful bird stamp from Red Lead. And uh, I won't say any more than that, but be sure you pop over to her channel if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I actually kind of messed up this card a little bit up here on the corner. So I went back in and I added a little gem corner uh, to, to both corners of the card just so that I could cover up my little mistake. Um, and as I, I like to say, and I know a lot of us say this, there are no mistakes in card making. There are just opportunities. <laughs> so, um, and then to finish this card off, after I went off camera, I did add additional color to the jacket to make it lighter than the dress. And uh, I used my white gel pen to kind of create a lace collar. And I added little bobby socks or lace edged socks down um, on their legs here with their little shoes. Um, and it reminded me of the, the little lace edge socks that we used to wear to church when I was a girl. Um, and I was channeling that when I was doing this. And then I did add some additional shading to her dress and I put buttons on both of their coats. So, uh, I added buttons and little buttonholes over here. So, um, I do like how this card turned out when it was all done. I also took a little stamp that I keep on my desk. It's this little heart stamp and I got these at the thrift store long ago. Um, they're th just these little peg stamps, and I think I have four of them. Um, one is an open heart like this. This one has this little dot, uh, kind of dots around the inside of the heart, you can see. And then I have two others. Uh, one is just a solid heart, and I use that one a lot too. And then the other one makes a square with a heart center. Sorry, I'm getting too close, so my camera's not focusing. But anyway, those are the four. I keep these right on my desk. Um, there's a little shelf right above my desk here, and I have lots of little stamps, little things that I use to finish cards. Um, for me, the biggest thing about having access to things on my desk is the things that I use to finish cards are right by me. Um, because a lot of times when you're doing a card, it just needs that one more little touch and you're not sure what it is. And on this card, I just wanted it to have a little something more. So I added a background of those stamps going down the right hand side of the card. And then I took a white gel pen and I just added some little corners here and here. And again, I had something that happened up here at the corner. So I first tried to disguise it by adding a little bit of diamond stickles glitter just to the embossed section of this card, but that didn't disguise it enough. So then I finally went and pulled out some gems and I just made some gem corners, um, one at the top and one at the bottom corner. And that covered up the mistake so you couldn't see it. So this is just a fun little card. Inside I stamped this sisterhood sentiment a bond between two or more women. They honor and love each other like sisters. And uh, I, this is a beautiful stamp from Red Lead Paperworks. And, uh, and then so is this one here. She sends you hope and heart. And this paper right here is from Arala Miha shop. And this is die cut with the My Creative Time um, Pretty Scallop Oval Dies. And then this is uh, Lily of the Valley Fresh Cut Flowers. This is from their new flower, the new flower stamp set that I showed you on my Saturday Morning Makes episode. And I wanted to mention tonight that Lily of the Valley still has their stamp sets on sale for the lowest price you'll see them. Uh, it's 10 pounds UK, but here in the US, it's $13.23. So if you go to the Lily of the Valley Stamps website, which on Etsy, you just type in L-O-T-D-T-V Digi Shop, all one word, um, they are on sale still. So I just wanted to let you guys know that because I know a lot of times we can't buy everything right away, you know, and I like to wait till things are on sale. So if you had a wish list there and there was something you were waiting for, um, now would be the time to purchase it. And if you don't see something you're looking for in the store, you can always message on Etsy. You can message the store and Lisa would be happy to help you and tell you um, 
whether she can provide it or not, okay? So that is from their beautiful floral label set. I just love this stamp set. I should have it. I don't have it right next to me, otherwise I would show it to you again, but I think I already put it away. Um, but this is another one from that set, and this one says Flower Market Open Daily, Seeds, Stems, Blooms. And uh, I just love this set. It's a whole set of different um, little uh, floral garden type um, uh, little uh, signs. So they're wonderful for card making, um, but also for home decor and stuff. And uh, anyway, so uh, that is my little card. I just wanted to show that to you again. And then I want to dive in. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn this over like this. And uh, I'm sure that you guys have seen these. A lot of people are showing the new sets um, on their channels right now. We, we received the latest Diana Markham Recipe Stamp Club sets. And this is the stamp set and the add-on, okay, for this month. So, um, or maybe it's next month. I don't really know what month, but this is the current one that just came out. Um, the Tuesday video, they just uh, did it last week on Tuesday. Um, I haven't seen it loaded to their YouTube channel, so I can't share it. But if you go to their Facebook um, page for Adorna, you'll find um, vi a videos tab and you should see it there. Um, so they did show these sets there and um, I just love cherries. So this really struck me and um, I really like all of the stamps in this. So this the, the main uh, recipe club stamp is the cherries. Um, this one says very chocolate cherry brownies and uh, it has an extra word cherries up here. It has this little tiny cherry stamp, which would make really cute backgrounds. And then it also has this row of cherries, which I just love. So I'm looking forward to either paper piecing this or watercoloring it. We'll see what I end up doing. Um, and then this is the add-on and it has, I love you cherry much. Um, it has this adorable little um, make it sweet or life is short, make it sweet. Um, this is a little, uh, a tub full of cherries, if you will. And, uh, and then it has, I cherish you, and a little pun there, I cherish you with a little heart set of cherries. Uh, I love this little cupcake that says, have a cherry on top kind of day. So that would be a perfect one to send for any type of day. And then this is a sweet set of cherries with um, little flowers and uh, details in both the leaves and both cherries. So just adorable. Um, I just am excited to play with all of these. And then there's a basic set of cherries here and, uh, and then the medium sized cherry here. So you could do a background with these small cherries and this cherry. So I, I want to do that too. So I'm, I'm, I have lots of ideas in my head. So that is the recipe stamp club and the add on. And then they also did a stamp drop and, uh, they did this beautiful set. And uh, the stamp that I'm going to show you tonight, and I've, I've already used this, so it's not perfectly on here. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it right back where it should go. So let me pull that off so you can see it better. Life is a bowl of cherries. Make it sweet. So this is the one that I'm going to show you tonight that I've been working with. And uh, I, I have an idea for a card with these. Uh, there's these little cherry buttons, which is just adorable. Diana, I love this. Uh, Diana Markham is, is the artist, of course, behind all these beauties. And, uh, and then this one says, thank you, cherry much. And then you have a set of cherries where the cherries are hearts, which is perfect for Valentine's Day and uh, or for sending love anytime. Then we have the cherry crock pot jam, okay, which I think this would be really fun to make. Um, and I love how she did the fabric on here. It's a cherry fabric top. Isn't that just adorable? Oh my gosh. And then the rest of the stamps in this set are little puns. It says, uh, cherish the little things. You are cherry rific and keep calm and cherry on. So you, this would be cute to make a little set of note cards with all the different sentiments, including the thank you cherry much. So that is the stamp drop. And then they also did a bonus with the stamp drop, a bonus recipe stamp. And this one is the chocolate covered cherries. Okay. And I love this beautiful bottle that, uh, Diana drew for this to be in. And uh, it has a sweet little polka dot bow at the top. And then the recipe, of course, is in the body of the jar. So this is going to be another wonderful one. Um, my husband's favorite uh, candy was chocolate covered cherries. And I used to buy him a box every year, but I never made them. And I, I never even thought of trying to make them. So it kind of is intriguing me and I might have to try it. <laughs> Um, but he's not here to enjoy them anymore. But I know that uh, I'm sure he is smiling down at the sight of this stamp set. It's just adorable. So those are all the stamps. And uh, I'm going to put this one. Let's see. 
I'm going to put this one back on here really quick because this is the one that I used and it's the one that says life. Let's see. It says life is a bowl of cherries. Make it sweet. Okay. So let me set here. I'm going to pull this stuff away. And over on Instagram, when I have a moment here, I am going to um, upload um, a few shots of my watercoloring, uh, what I'm going to show you here. So I did watercolor this. I've been watching everybody watercoloring. You know that Anna White always does beautiful watercoloring. And uh, I've seen many people watercolor um, Marilyn G. And I just was watching Vicki, who's TryHeart67. I shared um, her videos this past weekend. Um, she did a Saturday Morning Makes episode. She's been working with a book um, and ATC cards, and she watercolored some beautiful ATC cards, and then she started stitching some with fabric, and uh, I, it's just fun to see all the fun things that everybody does. Um, I, I welcomed some new people to YouTube, including Cecilia, um, and she does these beautiful pastel tags. It, I, I've shared her, I believe, in my community tab. I know a lot of you went and watched some of the videos after I shared her. So thank you for doing that. She is new to YouTube and I hope that you will welcome her. Again, you can find her channel in my community section um, on my channel. Just go to the community tab. Um, but anyway, I wanna welcome anybody that is new to Saturday Morning Makes and I will mention again what Saturday Morning Makes is. A couple people were asking. It is an open art collaboration. You can make things any day of the week that you want. Many of us share them on Saturday morning, but you do not have to share it then. All you have to do is use the hashtag SatMornMakes, all one word with the hashtag symbol, and post a picture or video or short of what you're doing to the um, to either YouTube or any social media site like Facebook or Instagram. There is a Facebook group that Jana runs and I try to help her when I can and she has one other person helping her. I think it's Carmen. Oh my gosh, is that the right name? Anyway, Jana, they, she has the Facebook book, book um, group going wonderfully and uh, um, you can find it by searching Saturday Morning Makes and Today's Two over on Facebook, okay? And uh, <clears throat> you can post your pictures there also. Um, so it's very fun to see what everybody is making. I've seen lots of hashtags, uh, people making things for the various hashtags. There were lots of Peachy Keen projects this week and also lots of things for um, the Snowman of January as well as uh, uh, Val... I think it's Halloween that Nancy May is doing the Handy Scandy Crafty Adventures. And then our sweet Tina, who's Crafty Bean, is doing Gingerbread of February, I believe is what it is. So, um, and there's lots more. There's Crash Your Stash with Raina and Dale on their channels. So um, I hope you guys will just jump in and, and get creating using all the fun hashtags that are out there. And of course, I hope you post to Satmore Makes too and uh, share all your beautiful ideas and art and tips and tricks and everything that everybody shares. So you always all inspire me. So let me talk a little bit about this. This is that beautiful Diana Markham image. And I did color with um, some, I did some tip coloring um, and water coloring with just some Primer watercolor pencils, okay? And I mainly used blues, greens, a little bit of yellow. And, um, and then for the base, I, I did a little bit of grayish brown um, just to ground the bowl a little bit. And uh, I was kind of trying to go for a rainier cherry look here. And um, I do think this turned out really sweet. And I just kept it very simple. Um, I am not, I am learning to watercolor. I like to say that because I think this is only my third attempt <laughs> with watercolors. It's not something that I do a lot of. Um, I don't know why, because every time I do it, I really enjoy it. So I'm trying to challenge myself this year to step out a little bit more away from just Copic coloring and paper piecing. So I, this is what I did. And then I was going to try and finish the card tonight, but it's getting late. And uh, I have some things happening tomorrow morning that I need to take care of. So I decided to just hop on because I wanted to do this video Sunday and I didn't get to it. And uh, I decided to just hop on and show you what I'm thinking of for the card. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of using some reds and greens, uh, some ginghams or some polka dots with this image and just making a really simple card. And then I also pulled out from Lily of the Valley, these are the flower sentiment tags. And I thought it might be fun to put some little tags 
on the back. And so I was looking at this one because spring is coming. But then I also pulled this one out. And I think this is the Valentine's one that they came out with last year. And I noticed that there's a little tag that has a, a little cherry here. So I might use this on the back of the card. Um, but any of these would work for Valentine's Day if I want to make it a, a Valentine's sentiment. Um, but I thought I would show you guys these and just remind you that LOTV Digi Shops uh, stamps are right now, they're on sale for $13.23 US, which is a really good price. It's their lowest price ever that they've offered their A5 polymer stamp sets for. So I, I know a lot of you have wish lists. You've told me you have a wish list. And this would be the time if you can afford it to maybe purchase a set that you have on your list. So I just wanted to toss that out there. Lisa had met, Lisa and I had been messaging back and forth um, as they're preparing for their spring releases that are coming up. Okay, so I also have some happy mail to share that I received um, from my sweet friend, Patty O'Malley. And uh, she, here, I'm gonna open this really quick. And she sent me this adorable card. Look at how cute this little snowman is. He's holding a birthday cake. And I love how his little halo is kind of tipped over. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And the cake has little Christmas trees and hearts on it. And she used um, this wonderful die with these little heart edges from My Creative Time and the little scallop and the little circle. And uh, I love the paper she used and also how she used the little enamel dots at the four corners. It's very striking. And it says, oh, my happy heart. And she has a little wood heart button and some twine tied around the panel before she glued it onto the card front. And that's a great way to do twine. Um, you make your panel, get it all ready to go on the card, and then you tie your twine and then glue the panel down onto the card. And it holds the twine in place very well. So Patty's a beautiful card maker. I, I'm always touched when I receive a card from her. She says, Dear Jill, happy birthday. This is a bit late, but I hope you had a nice birthday, although I know it came at a difficult time, which it did. Um, my wish for you is that the year ahead is filled with many blessings. Love and hugs, Patty. Patty, you are the blessing. Your friendship is the blessing. This community is the blessing. And uh, there's always uh, blessings in our lives. We just have to remember to count them each day. So this card made my heart smile so much when I received it, Patty. If you guys don't follow Patty, she is over on Instagram under Patty O'Malley. And look at how cute this little snowman is that she stamped here. She also stamped her envelope. So just beautiful. Patty, thank you so much. You always touch my heart, sweet friend. And uh, if that wasn't enough, she also sent me a beautiful sympathy card. And uh, I'll just show you that really quick. And uh, it's I, I really appreciated your words and your thoughtfulness. So thank you, Patty. Um, bless you. Bless you. Um, and then I, if that wasn't enough, I got this um, this week too. And uh, I'm sure just by showing you this, you'll also knew, know who this is from. This is a beautiful stitched card from my sweet friend, Sue Crozier. And... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Sue surprised me with this and I, I've been trying to get a card in the mail to her and here she is sending me a card. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, Sue, my heart is with you. You know that. Anyway, uh, she wrote, Dear Jill, happy birthday. A little late. Thanks for all you do to help this great community. community. Thanks. Thankful for your friendship. Love, Sue Crozier. So just a beautiful card. I just adore the stitching and I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is stitched onto this card that has glitter built into the cardstock. So that is just gorgeous. Maybe that's a Spellbinders paper or something. I don't know, but it's just really neat. And uh, I just love the beautiful stitching that she does here. I don't know how she finds time to do all that, but she does. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Sue. And if that isn't enough, she sent me a gift card to Hobby Lobby and I have not been in there in a while. I try not to go, um, but now I have a reason to go. So that that is fun, Sue. So thank you. Um, and I think this is the time of year where they uh, sometimes will have some clearance too. And I love shopping clearance. So thank you for the gift and for your friendship. And you know, my heart is with you and Tom. So that is... Um, that is all of the uh, happy mail that I received. And then the last thing I would do, um, I thought I would do is just share a few things I picked up at the thrift store. There is a lovely little senior thrift store that I like to go to and I often will drop off things that I no longer need. And then I'll pop in and uh, just say hello to everybody and uh, do a little shopping. And uh, so I did pop up there the other day 
and uh, I thought I would just show you a few of the things that I found and decided to pick up. This was $2, and it is a little set of bird houses. They have moss right here in the openings for each of the houses. There's a little bit of moss, and then they each have a little peg for the birds to stand on, and then someone has painted herbs here and some little bumblebees going up on the tallest house. And then on the back, they've stapled some grapevine um, to create a handle. And I thought this would be really cute, um, either on a, a, this beautiful wreath I have for my front door that's made out of greenery, um, or to hang on a peg on the right-hand side of my front door. I have a little place where I, I hang something decorative. So spring is coming, and I just thought this would be so cute on my front door, uh, near my front door entrance. So I picked this up, and I just think this is adorable. Oh my goodness. And you know how much I love the outdoors and birds and you know nature in general. And then um, this was sitting there, and I started reading the sentiments in this bag and decided to pick it up. It was $5 for all of these stamps. And, um, you know, most of the time on eBay, a single stamp can be $5. And uh, this had some sentiments in it that I thought were worth picking up. And a lot of the stamps are marked where they're 5 and $6 each. Um, and so $5 for the whole thing seemed like a good deal. So let me move some of this out because I don't want to wreck these beautiful cards. I'm just going to stack those up a little bit and I'll show you the stamps really quick. We'll pour these out. Um, oops, okay. So this first one is just a double line and this is great for making borders on your cards. You can actually stamp, a, you know, a piece of paper. And I think this, was, this one almost looks like it's... Um, longer than five inches, but maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. It's So it's six inches. So you could definitely do like a five by seven card with this. Um, and, you know, it's just nice to have stamps like this in your arsenal. So that, that one doesn't have, let's see. Oh yeah, it does. It's an impress rubber stamps. Okay. And uh, so that's a local company here. And uh, I haven't been down there in a long time, but um, they have a big store. I believe it's in Tequila. And uh, I haven't been there in a long time, but they, they also, I don't know if they still have their store at University Village. I'm not sure. I should check it out and see. I haven't been down there in a long time either. I don't shop much anymore. I just don't have time. Um, this one is by Anita's, and I think it's Georgia. So this one says Anita's uh, Brook Street Incorporated. I can't read what it says, but it's it's Duluth, Georgia, I think, six. 30096 is what it says. It's a size G stamp. It says snuggle a day. A snuggle a day keeps the grumpies away. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. A snuggle a day keeps the grumpies away. So that is very sweet. Then um, there's this one. This one was originally $9.99 at Ben Franklin Crafts. That's out in the Monroe area of Seattle or the Pacific Northwest anyway. Um, this one says every season, and this is an Alessa Baker for Impression Obsession. So you know how much I love Alessa Baker's, Alisa Baker stamps um, for Impression Obsession. Now, uh, a lot of her stamps can still be found at Frantic Stamper, but Impression Obsession is not selling their woodblock images anymore this way. They do come out with a monthly set, but I don't know if that includes, you know, I don't know exactly how they decide what monthly sets to do. So I don't know... I know her stamps are still available in clear stamp sets at at um, IO stamps if you want to look for them, okay? But I love this sentiment. Every season shares its own palette of beauty. So I just thought that was a really pretty sentiment, and I did read that one in the bag. I couldn't see every stamp, but I could see a lot of them. Then there's this one. This just says precious, and this one doesn't have any information on it. This one says favorite things. That would be cute for when you're journaling and stuff. And again, there's no information on it, so I can't tell you who it's by. This one says nothing is worth more than this day by Goth. I think it's how you say that. This one was $8.75, and this is a Penny Black, and it's 2003 Penny Black, Berkeley, California. So nothing is worth more than this day. That is so true. Tomorrow is not guaranteed, and every day is a day that we should count our blessings and be happy to be alive. Um, this says, a day spent pampering, pampering is a day well spent. And how often do we ever pamper ourselves? <laughs> Take a day and do something just for yourself. That is so important. And that's what Saturday Morning Makes is all about. 
for me anyway, it's to take a couple hours out of my week where I'm, I'm always, I think we all are so busy doing all the things we have to do. And it's to take a couple hours to do the things you want to do and to pamper yourself. So that is a wonderful stamp. And this is, let's see, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Day Spent Pampering is the name. It was $6.55 originally, and it's by Stamp Abilities. Okay, so copyright 2008 for Stamp Abilities. Yeah, okay, that I like that one too. Um, then we have this one, it says Good For You. This would be great for a teacher uh, to stamp at the top of someone's papers. I think that's adorable, good for you, or just to congratulate someone. This is a Hero Arts rubber stamp from 1985. There, Brian, there's an older stamp, 1985. Um, Brian was asking, um, you know, what your oldest stamp is, and I keep wanting to go downstairs and try to figure it out, but Brian, it would take me a long time. Um, I'm not really sure what my oldest one is, um, but it would be fun to find out. You know, I always wish there was a book that took the history of stamping all the way back to its orange origins and talked about all the companies over the years that have kind of steered the stamping industry. I just think it'd be fun to know. And Hero Arts is one of them. They're definitely one of the original big stamp companies, um, and they still are uh, very inspiring, and they do so much for the community and the art world. So thank you, Hero Arts. Um, here's this one. I loved this one too. And I was able to read it and it's, uh, Emily Bronte. It says, every leaf speaks bliss to me fluttering from the autumn tree, Emily Bronte. And this one has, let's see. I think this is serendipity. Is it serendipity? It was eight seventy five originally. So this $5 bag, um, definitely was paid for just by the first stamp. Uh, I think this is serendipity. If I can get this off, I'll tell you for sure. It looks like it was put out by Serendipity Stamps. And Serendipity was actually absorbed by Impression Obsession or, the, or purchased or whatever. I'm not sure. Um, but I used to, I know, play in their challenges back in the day on my blog. Um, so Serendipity Stamps 2007. And uh, it was a wonderful company. And uh, a lot of their images are still available and often make it into the monthly sets. Uh, that are being put out by Impression Obsession. So um, this is just a beautiful one too, totally worth this bag as far as these stamps go. And then the last one says, your beauty comes from within. And this one was $6 at Make an Impression. And this one was by Stampa Rosa. So Santa Rosa, California, Stampa Rosa, 1999. So I think the oldest one in here, I think is from 1985, Brian just for fun. <laughs> anyway, I hope you find follow Brian's channel. He shares wonderful collage and he is just a breath of fresh air in this community. I love how he comments on everybody's videos as I'm hopping around looking at all your Saturday morning makes, which I did for a while today. Um, I love Brian's comments and uh, just his kindness. And uh, so many of you, I, I try to hit uh, a little up. Um, oh, what is it? It's a little hand uh, or thumbs up, I guess, on your comments when I'm hopping around and I see that you're all commenting. I try to hit the thumbs up on your comments because I so appreciate the beautifulness of this community and how sweet you all are to one another um, in appreciating each other's art. So um, let me keep going. Those are the stamps I got. And then um, I did grab, um, she put this in a Walgreens bag, but um, they had a special on the buttons. So I grabbed a few more sets of these buttons and I thought maybe I could include a few of them in some happy mail. So um, I grabbed uh, mostly two whole buttons because they're easier to thread. Um, but anyway, so I did that and uh, I got those from the thrift store. And then I also picked up a few more fabrics. I thought this would make wonderful hearts um, using the Prim Heart dies. Now there's new Prim Heart dies at My Creative Time, but Anna White also came out with a layering set for her Eyelet Primitive Hearts, and I'm excited to use that set too. Um, I shared a video where I showed you the Happy Mail she sent me, and uh, I am so excited to play with it. So I wanted, I was there, and they had a deal going where the fabrics were half off. So this was $1.25. So I got this one. I really liked this beige color and this linen-y, you know, it's a linen -y sort of um, print on here with stripes. And then this one was, I think, 50 cents. Um, and it's a little uh, kind of yellow rose print. Um, and this this is kind of vintage-y looking to me. 
And then I also got this one. This was a dollar, so I paid 50 cents. And this is just a little scrap of kind of a forget-me-not color of gingham. So I thought I could make um, some cards with these. Uh, um, and again, if you want to use fabric and cut fabric with your dies, it's helpful to glue the fabric onto cardstock first. And it helps the die have something to grab onto to cut more cleanly okay so um i did do a card like that for um during the my creative time release if you go back and look at my sneak peeks for the second day um i talk more about cutting fabric with your dies um and then the other thing that i got was a thing of ribbon um this was on sale too and uh it looks like this and it has beautiful flowers and uh, I thought this would be a nice one for spring to glue to cards. And uh, you know I love anything that's lace, cotton, you know, something that's easy to glue down. And then I also saw this one, and this one even has a little cover on it to hold the lace in place. Um, but this is a very, very elegant one. And uh, I'm also looking at doing, um, I bought I bought some things today to, to do a project with, and uh, I thought this might work for the project. So there's that. And then the last thing I got, or two more things, um, my stuff is in here, but this little box was 75 cents, and I thought this might be fun for Happy Mail. It says, may the joy you give to others be blessings that come back to you. And it has this beautiful garden image with two little doves sitting on um, a little uh, fountain, if you will, or a bird, a bird bath. So, and it's just a beautiful box. It's in perfect condition. And uh, so I got that. And then the last thing, I got this little picture um, in this gold frame. And uh, I believe this is a famous painting. I can't think who it's by right now. I want to say Monet, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, this was a little tiny frame. It's only about five by seven. And uh, I, every spring, I refresh my house. I don't know if we all do this, but we do spring cleaning. And I always move things around. And uh, I was rehanging some pictures yesterday, and I needed one more little frame. So that was part of the reason I went into the thrift, thrift store was to look for a frame of something. And so I found this today. It, again, here, let me move this out of the way. It's very small. It's just a pretty small five by seven frame. And so this, I, I already looked where I'm going to hang it. It's going to look perfect. So I was really excited to find this. And I think I paid, what did I pay? I paid $3 for it. So um, just really cute. And uh, I do like uh, the gold frame and it'll look nice in my living room where I'm going to put it. So uh, I have two other things. I also found this little bunny. And uh, I think this might look cute perched on my porch. I just planted a big pot full of daffodils and tulips. And uh, so I thought this might look cute perched next to, on my porch next to the pot. And uh, or to use it on my shelves uh, when I decorate for Easter. Um, and then with it was this little guy and he's coming right up out of a out of a cabbage. Isn't that cute? So these were also in the thrift store. And uh, I just love it when I find things inexpensively to decorate my house with. It's one of my favorite things about thrifting, um, freshening up my house with some new items. And sometimes my sisters will trade things. Like when we get tired of something, you can trade it with a friend or with your sister. And uh, then they have something new in their home too. So anyway, that is everything I wanted to share with you tonight. I Again, I want to thank Sue and Patty, Patty also get, sent me a gift. She sent me a gift certificate for my birthday. My sweet friend P sent me a gift certificate to the greetery. Um, Patty's was to scrapbook.com. And uh, and now uh, Sue sent me something to, um, to Hobby Lobby. And all of you are so sweet and so generous. And uh, I just, I have the best friends, Susan and Sue and uh, you know, all of you, um, Anna sent me dyes and a beautiful package. And, uh, so many of you are just so generous with me. <laughs> I just have no words. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who wished me a happy birthday, who commented for me to have a happy birthday. And to those of you who I've known for over 20 years and have sent me beautiful things, I thank you. Um, or even known me a short time and sent me things. Uh, you're just very, very kind. And, uh, you just make my heart smile. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my little uh, Life is a Bowl of Cherries. Um, make it sweet. That is the key. 
And uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but we got to do it in order to get through. So I hope that um, you'll come back and take a look at my card when I get it done. And uh, I'm going to post some behind the scene uh, pictures of me um, coloring this, watercoloring this. And I did um, put some of the color down, use my paintbrush, and then I also did some tip coloring where you dip your paintbrush um where you take your paintbrush and touch it to the tip of the thing and then add some detail and i i often will do the tip part when i'm trying to darken certain areas to um create some shading so uh i hope that you enjoy that when i post it and uh, i hope to finish the card and share it with you very soon as well as use more of the beautiful stamps from diana markham i hope that you guys will go and visit all of the diana markham stamp ambassadors i will try and link them down below um, there is a large team of women that are just always sharing beautiful projects. And you can also go to the Create It With Adorn It uh, Facebook page and you can see all of the um, the people that are posting projects because like Lisa, there's there's a bunch of people that, that are members of the club that make projects also. So it's always fun to see what people are doing. Um, I know Anna White was saying I got to start using my Diana Markham stamps. So maybe she'll be doing something soon too. Uh, but it's always a joy to see how you guys take the stamps and what you do with them. And uh, there's been some cute gingerbread projects I think that Lisa did recently. Uh, just lots of people using them and making beautiful things. And uh, I'm always drooling over all of the the wonderful um, stitching stuff that's stitching clubs that are available too with both Diana's Arts and uh, Diana's Art and Lin Lindsay Ostrom. And there's now also a card kit if you're not aware of it. There's a card kit club um, that has uh, Lindsay's art in it where you receive things to color and create cards with. Uh, I think it's every month or every other month. I can't remember. I think it might be monthly. Anyway, there's tons of stuff at, at Adorn It if you're looking for some sort of kit. In addition to the uh, Diana Markham Recipe Stamp Club, there's lots more uh, to interest you on the Adorn It website and uh, through their Facebook page and all of their videos where they showcase the products. So thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. And uh, I look forward to sharing more. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. All right. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Bye now.